Uh, hello, dear students. I'm happy to see you today. Today I'm recording the webinar about cleft sentences. Actually, it is more for upper intermediate and advanced students. And um, actually for any students who don't know what cleft sentences are. <laughs> I think it's an um, interesting topic. So I will write you here cleft sentences. And now I'll explain you what they are. Cleft sentences, the main reason for, um, uh, for using cleft sentences is when we want to make emphasis, when we want to stress um, one uh, particular part of the sentence or when we want to stress only one word. In this case, uh, using cleft sentence is a perfect option. Um, usually, uh, we put this information at the beginning and this is how we create the emphasis. I have prepared here some <laughs> um, some uh, things. Um, I want you also to say that cleft actually means divided, like right here, asterisk. <laughs> so uh, it means divided. Divided. Uh, it means that when we have one sentence and we split the sentence into two parts, uh, making the emphasis on the first uh, one. For example, I will write you now um, one a sentence, a normal sentence, and then I will change it into a cleft sentence. Uh, the first one. I have come to uh, discuss my project. Now uh, we will create a cleft sentence. The reason why I have come is to discuss my project. As you can see, everything is simple. We say the reason why and then we say is or maybe was in the future or will be in the um, was in the past sorry and will be in the future we have different phrases not only the reason why but the place where the thing is and others i will show you them in my powerpoint presentation um, also i want you um, to pay attention that uh, very often in cleft sentences we can use what um, uh, for example, we have here, um, I need now, a it's a normal sentence, I need now um, actions, actions rather than words. We can uh, say what I need. What I need is. This is our cleft sentence. Actions rather than words. <laughs> um, this is about what I wanted to tell you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we can use instead of what all. <laughs> If we want um, like, um, to make stronger even emphasis. So uh, in this sentence, we can say, all I need now is actions rather than words. Uh, it's uh, similar to what I need now, but much stronger, <laughs> let's say. And um, uh, yes, uh, the last what I wanted to tell you is that um, very often we can uh, create um, uh, cleft sentences with it. Uh, for example, um, the, uh, regular uh, the regular sentence. Mm. I took my daughter to the zoo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, how I can create with it? I can say, it was me who 
and this is our cloud sentence it was me who took our daughter my daughter to the zoo also uh, possible to say um, another one um, it was zoo where I took my daughter it was my daughter who I took to the zoo <laughs> so three different options and as you can hear I make stress on three different words the first one it was me not anybody else who took my daughter to the zoo it was uh, zoo where I took my daughter not another place not restaurant not theater not museum and it was my daughter who I took to the zoo not my nephew not my husband not my godson or goddaughter all right so uh, in this case uh, this uh, it uh, sentence it clause can help us to emphasize different parts of the sentence depends what we want to do I will show you now all these rules in PowerPoint presentation and after that we will uh, do as you practice creating all these cloud sentences. So, uh, see you at the end of the webinar. <coughs> and just a second. Here, cloud sentences. and let's begin mm -hmm. so we have here with you cloud sentences they focus the reader or the listener on a particular information this information usually is given at the uh, beginning of the sentence uh, what we have here the first sentence uh, the first slide uh, as I said, uh, cleft means divided and in cleft sentences the information which could be given in one clause is divided into two parts, uh, each with its own verb. I have come to discuss my project with you. This is the example from the board, it's normal sentence. And we have here one verb, I have come, or cleft sentence, we have here two clauses and two verbs. The reason why I've come, one, is the second verb to discuss my project with you. What phrases we can use to create cleft sentences? The first one, the reason why, sounds perfect. The reason why I arrived late was that the bus broke down. The thing is, the thing that I like about you the most is your sense of humor. The place where, the place where the money is hidden is in the safe behind the painting. The next one, the person or people who, the person who works harder than anyone else in this class is Paul. The day one, the day when the Second World War ended in Europe was the 7th May 1945. What? I have already explained you on the board the usage of what. Uh, and again, we just uh, make the stress on uh, this first part. What we now need is actions rather than words, or what I enjoyed most about the film was the special effects. You can create a normal sentence, I enjoyed the special effects, or what I enjoyed most about the film was the special effects. Instead of what, we can use all when we want to focus on a particular thing and nothing else. So, all I want for my birthday is a new watch. It's possible to say what I want for my birthday. But uh, all I want sounds uh, like that's it, <laughs> nothing else, just give me a new watch. All I did was to touch the bad side light and it broke. So, like, I didn't do anything else, it's not my fault. <laughs> also, uh, cloud sentences can be created with it clauses. We use them and they allow us to focus on different parts of the same sentence. Um, and we use in this case pronouns that, when, or who to join them. Mike took Sally to the party on Saturday night. So it was Mike who took Sally to the party on Saturday night. It was Sally who Mike took to the party on Saturday night or it was on Saturday night that Mike took Sally to the party. <laughs> so 
So we have here with you different um, uh, different emphasis on different parts of the sentence. Depends what we want to stress out. Mike, Sally, or Saturday night. Now uh, we will have with you a lot of exercises to do, and uh, in these exercises we will have to create cleft sentences. Uh, the first one we have here with you was it and uh, you need to create it a uh, sentence. Please read this story and think what to use. After that, I will show you the answers and read them. All right, so you have here to rewrite the following sentences. And uh, I wrote here in brackets the words that can help you to create the cleft sentences. I guess we will move on because we got still um, lots of slides <laughs> to work on. So uh, we have to wait here. This is the place where we have to wait. We need five minutes to fix this problem. 
all we need very common phrase is five minutes to fix this problem Jennifer started to research the project the person who started to research the project was Jennifer I'm not questioning his movie oh sorry <laughs> about Jennifer it was Jennifer who started to research the project but uh, we don't use here person I just wanted to show you one more option and with it and the last sentence it isn't his movie that I am questioning let's look at the next ones Let's check. I didn't like the book because it because of its unhappy ending. What I didn't like about the book was its unhappy ending. I used to live around the corner. The place where I used to live is around the corner. It was your colleague who complained. The person who complained was your colleague. And we inherited the house only, but nothing else. All we inherited was the house or the house was all we inherited sounds also all right but i think the first option it sounds better two more please All right, so what we have here, you know, the sales assistant told me exactly the same thing. That's exactly what the sales assistant told me. And the next one, they moved to Istanbul because of the better job opportunities. The reason why they moved to Istanbul was the better job opportunities. Or the better job opportunities were the reason why they moved to the Istanbul, to Istanbul, sorry. But again, as for me, class sentence sounds much better at the beginning of, um, uh, of a phrase. The next one. I guess we will check our boss told us the news it was our boss who told us the news the only thing we want is to get our money back well it's easy all we want is to get our money back and I don't like Mary's dishonesty about her personal matters what I don't like about Mary is her dishonesty about her personal matters let's move on
let's check. <laughs> Asan tried a new approach in order to solve ongoing problem in the office. Oops. The, um, Hassan is the person who tried a new approach in order to solve ongoing problems in the office or the person who tried a new approach in order to solve ongoing problems in the office is Hassan, also possible to say. Jack built this house, it, was, it is Jack who built this house or it was Jack who built this house, also possible. Bob left the job because of long working hours. The reason why Bob left the job was the long working hours. Um, actually, the same task, uh, you need to rewrite the sentences, just I changed a little bit the words. So, Sebastian left the job because of the long working hours. Hmm, didn't we have just said that? <laughs> okay, the reason why Sebastian left the job was the long working hours. I want you to appreciate that it's not my fault. What I want you to appreciate is that it's not my fault. Before leaving, we switched off the power supply. The last thing we did before leaving was switch off or to switch off the power supply. Let's check. The company has imposed a ban on private emails. What the company has done is impose, impose, sorry, a ban on private emails. We are taking the au pair with us. What we are doing is taking the au pair with us and these men are totally ruthless. What these men are is totally ruthless. <laughs> Sounds funny. Okay, the next one. So what we have here, they moved to Andalusia, I guess, because of the climate. The reason why they moved to Andalusia was the climate. Or the climate was the reason why they moved to Andalusia. It was your next door neighbor who complained. The one who complained was your next door neighbor. Or your next door neighbor was the one who complained. We inherited everything except the house. The only thing we didn't inherit was the house, or the house was the only thing we didn't inherit. And the last one, please.
what we've got here. The introduction of stamp duties led to the loss of the American colonies. It was the introduction of stamp duties that led to the loss of the American colonies. I want you to copy this down in your notebook. What I want you to do is to copy this down in your notebook. First of all, all must be, we check the insurance details. First thing we did was to check the insurance details. And the climbers reached the peak at 6 o'clock. It was at 6 o'clock when or that the climbers reached the peak. Or it was 6 o'clock when, as I said, the climbers reached the peak. That's it. Let's make the conclusion. So, cleft sentences help us to make stress, to make emphasis. Uh, we can uh, use different structures. The reason why the thing is the person who, or we can say what I need or what I've done or all I need. Also, we can use it um, clauses to emphasize a specific word from the sentence. They're really cool to use and um, they make our speech like uh, advanced level. I mean, that when you... When you use them, um, people say, whoa, he's cool. <laughs> so please be cool, use class sentences. Have a nice day, guys, and uh, see you around. Bye.